Tell them Shannon Becerra is running.
greeny out there? Yeah. Let's pretend we're in fourth grade. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to do the rest of your life? You guys can have it. Let's get our mom home, okay? Let's get our dad home too. I was thinking about four years ago when Joe Lacharney brought this into my office. I can't even believe that I even gave him the time of day. <laughs> you know, we ran for these things, right? Network marketing, the pyramid schemes. But I wanted out of my businesses so bad. We were small business owners for about 14, 15 years. And it's funny, when you want something or you want out of something really bad, you'll, you'll take action, won't you? And we were passionate about those canning salons. We built them mom and pop operation back in 1993, grew them to eight locations. You would have thought we had it all. But really, if you peel back a few layers, we were stressed out, burned out. We had enough money, but sometimes that's not everything, right? Yeah. We weren't enjoying life. We weren't enjoying our marriage. We hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> A year before I got into Monobie, all of a sudden I started losing my passion for this business, for the old businesses. I couldn't figure out why, because I was money driven, and usually money, you know, kept me occupied enough to, oh, you know what, it's just part of the deal, I can get past this employee issue. But, you know, God was setting us up for something better. And, and when Joe brought this into our lap, you know, it was just, it was, the timing couldn't have been better. You have to attach something personal. A why. You always hear about your why, right? You know, our why was to change. We wanted something that wasn't going to occupy our time 50, 60 hours a week. She was billing people. I was working 50, 60 hours a week. We wanted a better life. And we saw an opportunity through Monavie. We, we never thought for a second that it was something that we were going to do and then quit. We knew that the second that we put our names on it, our reputation, our credibility, especially her, there was no way we were going to look back. We were going to become successful no matter what it took. If it, even if it took 10 years, I want to encourage everybody. You're in the right line of sponsorship, by the way. There's no such thing as a better line. You know, you heard about our line, Greg's line. Everybody's in the right line of sponsorship. You keep going up. You can get along with Everybody's in the right line. Don't change lines. That's not the answer. You know, we were fortunate enough that Joe took the time. We were business owners. We didn't know anything about networking. We just kept going up. Andre Walton and Penny Walton helped us. Paul and Drew Bear Barrios. Daryl and Tracy Otterbach. And, then, you know, we were fortunate to spend some time with the R3 Global team. And now we're with uh, the Legacy team getting ready to merge into the MVP. You know, we're very excited about coming together with the great leaders. We just want to encourage you, for all the brand new people here, give it a chance. You know, whatever, whoever brought you here, just hold them accountable. You do your part, they'll do your part, I guarantee. Thank you. so much to say in such a short time, I hope we don't want to get in. But um, ditto to everyone here, I can certainly relate to what they're saying. Uh, I can just tell you where I was, you know, five years ago. I was a stay-at-home mom of 20 years. I was not looking for an opportunity and would never do a network marketing thing, pyramid scheme. So for me, you guys, I had to overcome a lot of fear. We all have different fears with network marketing. I didn't see it truthfully as a legitimate business model because I didn't understand it. But once I realized it was a $119 billion industry a year, there were successful network marketing companies. And then, you know what? I still didn't have a grasp of how it all worked. But when I saw the company, the heart of the company, and Brighart's passion and his leadership, you know, it went from the head to the heart. I just want to say to you guys today that you're not here by accident. Nothing happens by accident. And what you got to have is a little faith. No matter what happened yesterday, today's a new day, it's all about monody. Um, I think for my success as a world black diamond, I stepped in with both feet. I closed the door of opportunity. I nailed it. Mm. We, we screwed it tight. We never wanted to walk back through it. We kept walking forward. No matter how the journey was that day, bad or good, we kept going. We were pinpoint focused on where we wanted to go and helping others. 
I think for me, I never worried about my paycheck and were successful business owners, but for me, it was about whose life could I affect today? Whose paycheck I could make them go up to be able to pay for their juice? My first goal in life was to get my juice for free. That was it. Didn't want to buy it. So my other goal, my next goal would be who else's juice can I help them pay for so they wouldn't have to, to buy it, you know, to pay for it out there. Pockets were all struggling. The economy's bad. So all I want to say to you, step up and say, close the door of opportunity and not here by accident. You can all do it. We all need this business, but who wants it? Yeah. It's all about wanting it. You want it? Probably not. Mm -hmm. But it could be. I mean, can't you see the heart of the company of getting back the phenomenal product? What we can do with this product and touch so many lives? What other choices do you have? What's your plan B if you lost your job today and tomorrow? We need a plan B. What is yours? So go out there and make a difference one person at a time. No matter what happens yesterday, tomorrow is going to be different. You can do it. You can be on the stage. You're no different than us. God bless you. And we're the best people in the world. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to thank God Almighty for this amazing question. Two children to come the messages of hope for this company. I want to thank uh, Henry, uh, Darren, Jeff, Kelly, everyone in the corporate team. Uh, bring Alina Hart, our, 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 our leadership, Stephen G. Merrick, and every single sign of Blue Diamond back then that come up to the stage because every time I saw someone else break the pin, it just gave us proof, it gave us that belief that we can do it, guys. Look, real quick, I know we're, we're, we're probably running a little bit late. Uh, I love these events, you know, uh, these corporate events. But if I can give everyone a tip, it's going to be this much. Uh, my fee is not going to pay you because of how much you know. I know that today here we're hearing a lot of great stuff about this product. And I see a lot of people taking some great, some great notes. I want you to know that it's not how much you know, it's how much you do. Okay? Um, that being said, uh, I think the thing is not learn anything about the product. This <laughs> guy is not about the product, trust me. Rip up your nose and leave it behind. This information is great to give you the confidence, the belief that we are a part of something special, something big. There is no other product like Monobie, and I say that there's three things that need to be in place in order for you to become successful with Monobie. Number one, you need to believe in the product. Absolutely. That's what this is here for. So you got it, you got the information, now go away with it. This is what I would always come back with every time I come to these events and tell me to Jeff. You heard Casey say himself. He's been listening to Jeff, to, to Jeff now for a couple of years and he still doesn't know this, right? So thank God it's not determined on how much you know because all of us will be broke. The one the one thing the most money know the least about the product. But um <laughs> but uh, this is what I would come back with every time I hear these doctors, these, I would always come to, to my team like, oh my God, and this one I'm, I'm sharing the opportunity with, this is what I say about the product, oh my God, we got the biggest doctors, the biggest scientists getting up on stage, and man, they use these really big, big words, and I don't get it, guys, I'm a high school dropout, so I'm being sincere, and I tell everyone, I don't get it, but I know one thing, we're going to be rich! <laughs> What these guys are saying, because I'm telling you right now, it's not what the successful guys are doing. It builds a company. But yes, you need to believe in the product. Yes, you need to believe in modern being. And I hope this helps you. And finally, and you know, not least, you need to believe in yourself. Okay? And hopefully, so you can relate to somebody up here that's done it and help you believe that you can do it too. Number two, guys, I love this new promotion. I thank God and I thank, uh, I thank uh, Mind Me for, for this uh, great center. The Gold Rush. You know what we're doing in our team? We have several hundred people in our team building for gold. And I just want to tell you something that look, 
Again, all this information, what it should do is build your attitude. Guys, there's one, one common thing with the leadership. It's the attitude that they have. It's not the information that they've that they, that they, that they, that they learned. It's just the attitude. So if you're going to go ahead and do this gold rush, look, I, I've been using all three gold boots since day one. It's the only thing I know how to, you know, I, I know how to do. It's uh, who I've been following and it's worked. So uh, the gold rush, you're promoting the gold, gold rush. And I tell everybody, look, you're going to talk to three people your first month. You're going to talk to three people your second month and four, four, four people your, your, your third month. But here's the thing, it doesn't count if they're not coming in with the same vision and the same, uh, the same determination to go to, to go gold. So if I'm bringing three people, they don't count if they're not coming in to go gold. And it doesn't, it doesn't count if their people are not coming in to go gold. And guys, you've got to have the attitude that, you know what, if it's up to me to go ahead and help each one of my three, onto their three and help their three onto their three, obviously for their own people, I'm gonna do it. That's the difference, guys. You gotta have that that attitude about it because you know what? Again, it's what about it's about what you do. And the, the key to business is the activity, guys. We go out every single day talking to new people. Just yesterday we were out, uh, Ernesto and Brittany uh, went out to 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 uh, to dinner real quick. TK Factory they sponsored them with no juice, no flip up, simply attitude, guys. Right. It's real right about yeah. So look, I just want to help everyone understand what I have new guests who are here uh, that are looking at this for the first time, and I want and I told them one thing. We don't sell juice, guys. Let me say something. You don't need to know what the car because we're not here to sell juice. If we're selling one thing, guys, it's ourselves, okay? We're selling ourselves. People are going to buy the dream because of our dream. They're going to see the vision to our vision. They're going to get the ambition to our ambition. So the only thing you need to work on constantly every single day is you. This is my love and lifestyle. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so this has changed our life. Um, some of you guys know me. I'm, the, I'm so shy to come up to the stage. This is like totally out of my comfort zone. And I just, I just can give hope to many of you that are sitting out there and are wondering, are saying to yourselves, I'm never going to get up on that stage. <laughs> guys, for a couple million dollars that we've made in the past five years, we're going to You know, a decision that we made five years ago, we made to change our family, you know, we were, we were, we were broke, you know, broke, we were picking up garbage in, in nice, fancy um, communities and, and selling them at swap shops, you know, anything to make money to put food on the table. I don't, I don't take any of that back because that made us the people that we are today, but I just want to give a hope to whoever's going through these things right now because a lot of us might be, you know, I've had a lot of people tell me like, you know what? I just sold my jewelry to pay for a case of money. You know what? I just, I just, I am picking up garbage. I am picking up, you know, what people leave behind and I'm selling at the swap shop. Well, great. You know why? Because you're paying for your dream. You're not deciding to stay, you're sitting down and not doing anything about it. You know what? to stay behind and not to let the economy eat us up. We decided to make something out of ourselves and to be able to help a lot of people that are hurting out there because in this business you can help so many people. It's not about yourself like you heard people say here, the leaders say here, it's about how many people you can help. If you help three people go blue diamond, think about it. You could be black diamond here in the stage today. So just go out there, take your dreams out the closet, take your dreams out the closet like we did, you know, we believe that you can do this, believe that you have to the most amazing product in your hands, the most amazing leaders helping you, rolling up their sleeves and helping you, and you, you have the most amazing company backing you up. So if you believe in yourself, like my husband said over here, you can make it happen. So we'll see you guys in Maui. <laughs> Thank you.